Pastor Mark Penny. Good morning. Today is Monday, February the 10th, and welcome to Penny's Podcast. Well, each month when I hold district administrators meetings, uh, we have what's called brag time. And each person will go around the room and brag on great things happening in the district, in their building, or brag on one another, or their colleagues, or you as staff, and and our community. So uh, that's kind of what this edition of Penny's Podcast is. Give a shout out because we're so proud of you. We're happy that you work for us and hope that you are too. The first brag I have is for Prop Kids Steering Committee that met last Monday, February the 3rd. The next meeting for Prop Kids Steering Committee is February the 17th, March the 3rd, and March the 17th. So if you're interested in joining us for Prop Kids Steering Committee, please contact April Bryant here at the mm-hmm. central office. Speaking of Prop Kids, keep improving district schools. We'll ask voters on April the 8th to approve a $20.5 million no tax increase bond issue to construct our second middle school. This will be the final piece of the second phase of the long range plan. We'll create more elementary space when the second middle school opens and the boundary that feeds Claude Brown surrounds an area estimated they expected to grow. Please share Prop Kids through Facebook and Twitter uh, you'll be seeing that. Please like that page, and we plan to use a very social media type campaign for our Prop Kids uh, bond issue this year. Did you know we believe making two smaller middle school populations will allow our students to make academic gains? Prior to Troy Middle School becoming the largest middle school in the state, Spearing Middle School in the Lindbergh School District was the largest middle school. In August 2012, they reduced their size of their middle school by opening a second middle school. Upon opening the two smaller student bodies, the two middle schools saw immediate gains in academic achievement. Next on to more brag time. I'm going to take this time to brag on our bus drivers, maintenance, and custodial crew for taking extra measures to ensure everyone's safety during this winter weather. Our next brag is to all the staff members promoting their pride in R3 by posting fun Throwback Thursday and Transformation Tuesdays on Facebook and Twitter. You can get involved too. Next brag is Troy Buchanan High School Show Choir Invitational. It was held Saturday, February the 9th. I want to brag on Tonality, Soundwave, and Express. Uh, all of our students did a fine job in representing Troy Buchanan and the Lincoln County R3 School District. I want to thank the Encore Booster Club for their support in making the Troy Buchanan High School Show Choir Invitational a very successful endeavor this year. Next brag is Buddy Entwistle and James Bertles. One of the things I cannot do is sing. So when April O'Brien approached me about a fun uh, no school announcement, uh, Buddy Entwistle stepped up and did his uh, rap to the uh, Ice Ice Baby. And of course, James Bertles did a a rendition of The Gambler. Um, And I was so impressed with the talent of our staff. And and, uh, who knows, you may be uh, called upon to help us in those uh, future announcements. I want to brag on lead nurse Stacy Wegerson and Director Connie Workmeister, Dr. Workmeister, regarding the Ronald McDonald Mobile Care. Um, At Quiver Park Elementary, we had 21 students that were uh, fitted for eyewear. Um, And uh, they'll be coming back, Ronald McDonald will be coming back to William Capel Elementary on March the 31st, Troy Middle School and Claude Brown Elementary, April the 1st, and Boone and Lincoln Elementary, uh, April the 2nd and possibly April 3rd. Uh, this has been a very uh, worthwhile experience for Ronald McDonald iMobile um, van to come to our school district and help our students with uh, their needs for eyewear. And remember, Lincoln County R3, what are you doing to make us the premier school district in the state of Missouri? Thanks for listening, and be sure to join us next time on Penny's Podcast. This has been an R3 production. 